Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wednesday, the 23rd of November, 2022, of the 34th week in Ordinary Time, is the optional memorial of Blessed Miguel Agustin Pro, St. Columban, and St. Clement I, Pope and Martyr. If I am tempted and afflicted with many tribulations, I will fear no evils while your grace is with me. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, by your atoning death on the cross, you have redeemed the world. Fill me with joyful hope, courage, and boldness to witness the truth of your love for sinners and your victory over the powers of sin, Satan, and death. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Clement, the fourth pope, was an eyewitness to the teaching of the apostles. Tertullian tells us that St. Peter himself ordained him. Around the year 100, Clement was succeeded by Pope Evaristus. A tradition from the 4th century has Clement dying in the persecutions under the Emperor Trajan. It is said that the pontiff was exiled to Crimea where his zealous preaching and miracles led to his execution by drowning. In art, Clement bears the anchor that dragged his body to the ocean floor. Sometimes Clement is depicted as he is thrown out of the boat. He is a patron of fishermen. The Epistle. They sang the Song of Moses and the Song of the Lamb. A reading from the Book of Revelation, chapter 15, verse 1. I, John, saw in heaven another sign, great and awe-inspiring, seven angels with the seven last plagues, for through them God's fury is accomplished. Then I saw something like a sea of glass mingled with fire. On the sea of glass were standing those who had won the victory over the beast in its image and the number that signified its name. They were holding God's harps and they sang the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and wonderful are your works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear you, Lord, or glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All the nations will come and worship before you, for your righteous acts have been revealed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 98 Responsorial Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains, Shout with them for joy. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord, mighty God. 
before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. Great and wonderful are all your works, Lord mighty God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Remain faithful until death, and I will give you the crown of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 21, verse 12. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogue and to prisons, and they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. By your perseverance, you will secure your lives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking. Luke chapter 21 verse 15 There's an old joke that says, It took me two years to learn how to talk and the rest of my life learning when to shut up. How true is this? But it's just as important to learn when to open your mouths and speak. That's because God put each of us on this earth to be a prophetic voice announcing His good news. In fact, when you were baptized, you were anointed with chrism and given a share in Jesus' priestly, prophetic, and kingly mission. Imagine the privilege of having a well-trained tongue as Isaiah did. Isaiah chapter 50 verse or imagine what it would be like to utter what is precious as Jeremiah did because you were speaking from the heart of the Lord Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 19 unfortunately we all know what it's like to have our own words and ideas get in the way often it takes wisdom and prayer to know what to say when to say it, and most often, how to say it. It sounds hard, but it's not impossible. Jesus himself promised that he will give us a wisdom in speaking, especially in tense situations when there's a higher risk for misunderstanding. Luke chapter 21, verse 15. All he asks is that we get in the habit of asking His Holy Spirit to guide us. Even taking just a moment to say a quick prayer before we speak can go a long way. Of course, God delights in our human intellect and free will. Jesus promised us wisdom to guide us, not a word-for-word -word script. Through His Spirit, we can soften our hearts so that we don't speak out of malice or bitterness. 
He can fill us with His presence so that we can convey His love in our own words. He can give us patience so that we don't speak rashly or out of frustration. He may even give us a stronger sense of what to say, a word or two, perhaps, that will help us guide the conversation in an upbuilding direction. It's not impossible to become a prophetic voice in the world. It doesn't even have to be hard. It just takes a little practice combined with trust in the Lord and a humble desire to speak His words of consolation and wisdom. Here I am, Lord. Help me learn the wisdom in speaking that you promise to all who follow you. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.